Hello, my name is Yuri, one of many Yuris here at Elastic. I would like to demo a new way to create custom visualizations for Kibana. While at it, I would like to thank Spencer for helping with the custom plugin. It would have taken far longer if it wasn't for him. Vega is a D3 based open source library that converts a JSON description of a graph into an interactive visualization. Think of it as a low-level language for graphing and interactions. Vega Lite is a higher-level language that is much easier to understand and it compiles into Vega. Vega will allow Kibana Power users to draw custom graphs without the need of JavaScript. Vega plugin is able to query Elasticsearch directly or it can get data from any URL in formats ranging from JSON and CSV to GeoJSON for maps and even images. It can even combine data from multiple data sources in the same graph. Let's try to create a sample graph. We begin by clicking Create New Visualization. We select Vega Visualization and, and we paste a sample graph. Here the data is hard-coded. We have two fields, A and B. We choose to draw it as bars. We select which field will go on each axis. We can change bar into an area or a tick or a point line and back to bar. Now let's change this data to a different data set, this one with a temporal, and let's draw them as lines, and this is a temporal data set. Instead of a basic line, we can actually tell it to use a natural interpolation. We may also say that now we need to break them by color. This way we use this field C to break them into three. We could say that this is, uh, shouldn't be a color. We can say that it should be a size of the line, line thickness. Or we can even break them into multiple graphs, one for each. For color, we can also say additional things like a different color scheme. Now that we have a graph, let's make it more useful by requesting data for it directly from Elasticsearch query. So here what we do now is we replace the values, predefined values, with a query. Uh, this query is not complete just yet. We need to also say that the X field will be the key. Y field will be the doc count. And the color, we can just say, make it constant for now. Uh, also, to make it slightly bigger, we can make and the height is 400. Voila. So now we have a graph that shows live data directly from Elasticsearch. To prove it, we can even change from 30 days to 7 days to see that it changes as well. Once the graph is in place, we can customize it further by, for example, adding axes to customizing the axes for the X field. This can changes the formatting of the x-axis to just the month and the day. We may also want to change from line to a point. To see the dots more precisely for each value. We may further customize this graph by, by uh, adding calculations to it. We can add a transformation. Let's create a field called danger. And this danger 
is set to either high, mid, or low, depending on certain constants. Changing the color to this, here we format the font, uh, to this. What, what we do here is we, create, we use the field danger to cover individual points depending on their high, mid, and low range and using the red, yellow, green schema, coloring scheme. To put some finishing touches on this graph, let's remove the shape and make the, instead of points, use circles, which makes them filled, um, perhaps slightly bigger. And instead of schema, we can specify uh, hard-coded range values to make them slightly more legible. We can explore other examples in of Vegalite. There's a big gallery of various graphs that one may look at um, and learn how how they are produced. Uh, Vega offers various groupings, calculations, special ways to analyze uh, data, and even interactive graphs such as this one, where one can drag the data around and zoom in and zoom out. Moreover, we can actually copy paste this directly into our graph and use the data source provided by Vegalite website by simply making the URL obsolete. And as you can see, the exact same example works just as well here. Additionally, Vegalite has a number of tools that might be useful to integrate into Kibana. For example, a Polestar tool uh, allows us to um, experiment with data interactively in a different way. So here we have a data set which we can change and choose uh, about cars and you can say a year should go into X axis and miles per gallon should be in the Y axis and we instantly have a distribution of how these two values uh, correlated with time. Also, we can say that the number of cylinders should go as columns, and then we can see the distribution per year of how things changed. Uh, lastly, let's talk about Vega itself. Vega offers much greater variety of uh, graphing capabilities, including maps and uh, tree-like graphs. There's a visualization of the United States with uh, counties. There's a uh, world map with adjustable regions. Another map graph. All this can be driven directly by Elastic. Uh, we can also adapt one of the graphs and try to play it in Kibana. Let's take this one. So we need to up again update the data. Uh, now we, we also want to make, automate the color changing. Right now, only the steps and the bandwidth changes. So, but let's add another signal. For the colors of this. So a, for that we need to change the scale into a signal instead of a hard-coded value and we also need to make this value dynamic. Right there. Instead of. Now this graph can be used as any other Kibana component. The controls will stay with the graph, allowing end users to examine it in even more detail. Thank you. My name is Yuri. I hope to hear your feedback.